All right, so Jake Paul has now called out Conor McGregor once again, and it's happened time and time again over the last three years. We know it started with Jake Paul with the cigar and the Mickey Mouse sunglass flip-ups and calling his wife a 4 out of 10 when, let's be honest, <laughs> D. Devlin is fine. And he recently was on Impulsive with his brother talking about the possibility of fighting Conor in... Well, he went off in a way I don't think anyone ever could have anticipated. So, is Jake Paul really about to fight Conor McGregor? Can he actually beat Conor McGregor in a fight? And the real question, what did he just say? Have you watched the Conor McGregor documentary? No. The four-part docuseries on Netflix? No. You should watch it. I know you I know you have your feelings about Conor McGregor. He called his wife a four and, and whatnot. No, but no, but like Damn. Y'all oh, all remember that? He said D's a four? That was that was rough. All these Donkey. people, I all these people, I like talk shit about. It, it, it's in a fun way. Like, so is his wife Jake? I, I've noticed this too. Jake has a lot of respect for the people he talks shit about. Even KSI, like I think he has a lot of respect for KSI, but he respects Conor McGregor enough to put effort into shit talking him to get a fight. Same with Nate. Same with Jorge Masvidal. Even the same to a degree with Tyron Woodley and Tommy Fury. Anderson Silva was a bit of a different animal, but. When you see Jake piping up and talking at someone that isn't like a reporter or like a back and forth with another YouTuber or whatever, he thinks that there's a potential for a fight there. He respects him enough to go out and try to build said fight. It's the same way that Connor operates to a degree. Actually a four? Well, that that's something that is... Subjective. Uh, subjective. Like... <clears throat> but yeah. <laughs> So I, here's, but, the, here's but, the reason but like, I asked. But like, that's the truth. Okay, like, no, but here, is it shit talking? Is it if it's the truth? Hold, people, people, <laughs> people, no, like, is no, it? Is okay, it? But no, but is it? Have, is it? But is do you it? have to? I'm, I'm bald. <laughs> Dog, he's going crazy. <laughs> what happened, Jake? Oh, they switched Jake on. Here we go. <laughs> no, like, is no, it? Is okay, it? But no, but is it? Is it? Is it? I'm I'm balding. So if someone says Jake, you're balding, am I gonna be like? Damn it, John, John Stiffy, I'm so mad. No, that's the truth. Like <laughs> Yo, Jake, with the unofficial shout out to the Wade Concept channel, because yes, he is one half of the Balding Bouncing Bros. Yes, I feel the acknowledgement, Jake. Thank you, and I'm not sorry. But Conor McGregor still called you a donkey. Do you have any feelings on that specifically? Do you do you feel like you in any way resemble a bovine creature? And uh, you know, like he said, you kick like a donkey. Do you smell bad? So. <laughs> fuck you, Mike. What the fuck is Mike? Do you, do you smell bad? Do you resemble a bovine creature? The funny thing about this whole Conor McGregor Jake saga is that Conor <laughs> won't directly reference Jake. Like, Conor McGregor just got into a back and forth with True Jordy. Yes, Brian over on his channel called him a burn victim, said he was had bitch tits and. Mr. Estrogen directly added him on Twitter, but won't do that to Jake. Said something about KSI and the Joe Fournier thing, but won't do it for Jake. And finally, he gets the response. Jake gets Connor talking about him, and all Connor says is he's a donkey. Yeah, he's a donkey, yeah. Kicks like a donkey. I expect Nate to win that boy going away, mate. That's all he gets. You're a donkey. Sorry, what? In let the him, actual let, I, I, I'd like him to answer the question. I would say, uh, I would say, I definitely got some kick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's crazy. <laughs> I, 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 that's, that was funny. That that was a funny question. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I, I think Conor McGregor's funny as fuck. He's hilarious. Like when I when yes, I dude. watch him like talk shit about me. And he's like, oh yeah, the lad, he's a bit he's a bit windy. He's a bit windy and he got the he's a fucking donkey. And I'm <laughs> Okay, hold on. Hold on. What is that accent, Jake? I know you guys get on to me for my Conor McGregor accent, but Jake, I don't know if that was New Delhi. I don't know if that was He's a fucking donkey, mate. That's what it's supposed to sound like, Jake. It's not even that I'm I'm not even a good Irishman. I'm not I was just like, you dude, like I'm from fucking. I don't know what. I don't know how to do, bro. bro. But I'm like, yeah. Mike just said New Delhi. <laughs> so Mike says the same thing I say. Mike and I now share a brain length wave. 
yeah, bro. Like, yeah. <laughs> but guess what, Connor? I'll beat the fucking fuck out of you. And you can't box as good as me. And I'm going to do to Nate what you couldn't, which is knock him the fuck out. <laughs> and you're going to be sitting there with your new <laughs> beer company that's failing, drinking it, drunk as fuck, realizing that you pissed your life away drinking at the end of the bottle. And you're going to say, damn, I really thought no one was going to do what I did in this sport. I really thought no one was going to be as big of a name. What is happening? I really thought I was going to be the biggest forever. But you can't choose and you can't have both lives. You can't have the fun party cocaine life and be the greatest fighter in the world. And you choose. You chose the wrong path. But that money fight will always be there. And when I knock Nate Diaz the fuck out and you realize I'm the biggest fight for you, Call me and I'll answer. And I'm my own boss. I make my own decisions. I'm not in control by Dana White. Yeah. I don't have a dad. And so I can make the fight Wait. happen. But if Dana lets you make the fight Hold on. Hold on. happen, then we can run it. <laughs> okay. Uh Wait. Wait. <laughs> Yo. So Mike asked Jake what it's like to be referred to by Conor McGregor as a donkey. And Jake cuts a fucking promo of his life on Conor. Um, what that? the fuck <laughs> did you just say? <laughs> Wait, what? I just wanted to know if you identified as a bovine creature. <laughs> the, things, the, the, the rhetoric that just spewed from your gullet. Oh my God. Mind blowing, dude. I, on a positive note, and this is what I wanted to mention when I asked you <laughs> if you watched this documentary, I find Conor McGregor very inspiring. I find him very inspiring. Oh, you should watch shit. this documentary because perhaps... I don't think being an alcoholic is like... No, 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 no. I think... <laughs> Jake's just coming for his throat right after he's like, yeah, I, I kind of like Connor, but at the same time, fuck that guy. He's an alcoholic. He's not inspiring. I, he's wasted his life away. <laughs> oh, my Lord, have mercy. So there you have it. Jake Paul says he doesn't have a dad. <laughs> Greg Paul catching strays, but he does still want that Connor McGregor fight. Does it happen? I don't have those answers, but if he beats up Nate the Great 209 Stockton's finest... I guess we'll find out.